Hey everybody, it's sun's out, gun's out. Even though this has been the warmest day it's been in the past week and will be for the next week coming up. Been having 90 degree, almost 100 degree weather here. Uh, I'm gonna go over and uh, hop on the tractor. Gonna go cut the waterway so we can get ready to go bale it. We'll rake it up after that and then we'll go back out with the baler, so. Finally cleaning up from planting. Been some real crappy mud. There's something caked underneath there. Well, couldn't be mud because it was dry all planting season, but it's caked on there good. Wouldn't come off. And Dad's running the new power washer. Probably ought to show off my new four wheeler. Got this. Someone traded it in for a new gator and they used it with their old gator to trade up, so I uh, came in and swiped it for myself. Fun little machine to bomb around, do chores, jump ditches with, as you saw. I'm gonna run here with the 4020. Get her out, hopefully she starts on me. Now I can drop her down. big big discs like that and they've got little knives on the end of them and typically you replace those those are pretty good wear part typically you replace those about once a year depending on use but we this will be the second year these knives have been have been run on them tarp this hood I guess just uh, covers that up so you don't have things flying at you while you're on the tractor there big deal when it's a open station like I got here the old 4020 
I uh, I just say it looks cleaner than when we took it home. Holy cow. Dad takes good pride in his cleaning of machines and vehicles. Get ready to switch gears here. Uh, we got the 320 hooked up to the rake. We're gonna go rake probably about three windrows worth of, of bale just so it's easy on the baler. Um, and this will be the same tractor we used to hook up the baler. That's a pain in the butt unhooking that, that disc more. So we're just gonna reduce this tractor twice. Um, if we had AC in the 46, we'd use that and that'd be, that'd be pretty nice. And the 3020 is another tractor that's kind of been you know, giving us some heck, uh, rough starts and repairs. So hopefully, uh, hopefully she makes it through here. <laughs> Lift off. Again, I don't think I did too bad for my first time uh, raking ever in my life. We're aiming for three wind rows, but we ended up with only two this time. So yeah, <laughs> got first line done. It was that was just kind of the skimpier line. They got what'd you say, 50, 56 bales? Fifty-seven bales. Fifty-seven. We've got about forty-five left. So we're gonna roll up here. This last pass is the thicker pass. So hopefully, yeah, we get forty-five bales out of her. Rock and roll.
I kind of did a backwards job of stacking this, but this rack is so old and rickety. I was afraid it was gonna fall apart. And obviously it can't hold that much because that's why they left this on the ground here. wasn't much 49 I think with the ones that we had left over on the ground so I'll try and get something off we can maybe maybe get a guy out of there A lot of firsts. I've never done this either, but we've been doing this forever. I don't know how old that bale conveyor is, but I remember being up in the hayloft as a kid, watching us uh, lift straw bales up there when we used to bale straw bales. Haven't done that in years. Well, that'll be it for this one. Thanks. You hopefully enjoyed this uh, trip back in time. I'm sure a lot of you have reminisced with seeing this. We're pretty low tech on our hay, and the calves, oh, they appreciate the, the small square. You can't tell, but they do. They really do. So uh, that's all going to be all for this one. Thanks, everybody.